Hi everyone, it's Colony Ames here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Uni Toys collection of wild animals. There's quite a range to go through. I'll just bring them forward one by one and you'll still be able to see them in the background. So we'll just start off straight away here with this little otter who has a super duper cute face and I love the little whiskers that they've got. A lovely thing about the Uni Toys range that I find is the detail that they put into the plush. Like you can see that little bit of yellowy colour, like the graduation of colour on his neck and his body there, which is really lovely. I'll just show you him a little bit more. So there's his tag. This is the only thing that I didn't really like about the older Uni Toys range is that they just sort of had this barcode tag. <laughs> like it's a little bit plain and, and boring and sometimes like right smack in the middle of their body. But apart from that, <laughs> um, very cute, very beautiful. And there was a seller that I used to be able to get these from, shipped over from Germany through eBay. But uh, I think due to the pandemic, they're not shipping internationally at the moment. So I haven't added any new uni toys to my collection for well over a year now. But I keep looking. <laughs> Hopefully we can get there one day. So there's the otter. The next one that I have here is a lynx, which is very cute. It's got a very cute face about it and it's got those little whiskers, if you can see there. It just says 10 inch jungle assorted. I assume there were some other animals in the collection from the jungle range. So it's Uni Toys. I believe I named this one. Yeah, I named this one Lysandra. <laughs> Lysandra the lynx. So there's that one. So she's really cute. And I love the black tips at the top there. So that's Lysandra. The next one that I have here is an ocelot cat. She is very cute. Well, I think this is the only ocelot cat that I have in my entire plush collection. So that's another interesting one to have. It's got beautiful pattern on the body. It's really lovely. So we've got their ocelot cat. I think this one's name too. This one I named Ophira. So there she is. Ophira. Next one that I have is a little polar bear. He's very cute. And again, it's got that airbrushing detailing there on the face. Just see a little bit closer. Lovely cream colour. And I think I named this one too, yeah. This one I named Snowbell. I definitely went through a stage where I used to write on all the tush tags of my plush and um, sometimes even the date. I think there's a few in this collection that I'll show you that it literally just has the date that I got it and I uh, never got around to naming it or perhaps I just forgot to put the name on the tag. So we'll maybe come up with some new names for these ones. Alright, so this next one, which is not realistic at all in terms of colour, uh, is the beautiful pink bunny. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It often sits on my bedside table. I just, it's so soft and colourful and yeah, it's one of my fave bunnies that I have. So as you can see, this one's got more of an updated Uni Toys tag. It just says rabbit on the back. I'm pretty sure... I didn't name this one, but if I was going to give it a name, and I will, I'll come up with one and pop it on my Instagram. Um, maybe it'll be something to do with flowers or the colour pink. So I'll have a think and uh, we'll come up with something for her. So there's that one. Next one that I have here is a jackal who has a very quizzical face about him. He's very handsome though. He's got beautiful colouring, as you can see throughout the different browns and the cream and just that airbrushing detailing on him. So there you go, that's his tag jackal. Don't think I named him. Nope. He's up for name suggestions, so he's very beautiful and in search of a name. So that's a jackal. So the next one that I have here is a little laying down wolf who I think featured in my wolf collection video. This is Canari. Yeah, I named this one Canari. It's got lovely colouring throughout. As you can see, it's got that brown underneath and then the darker colour over the top, which is really lovely detail about it. So there's that one. This 
next one is another beautiful wolf who's a little bit chunkier than canary. This one is a 9.5 inch wolf. I think I just wrote the date on this one. I don't think this one ended up with a name. Okay, so I got this one in 2017. So this one. So I need to come up with a name for this cutie. He's got beautiful fur on him. Sort of reminds me a little bit of the Yumiko Classics or Russ Wolf. He's got very sort of similar colouring, but he's uh, a lot chunkier, this one. <laughs> so there he is. Okay, another lovely wolf here. He's got a beautiful face. This is a 10.5 inch wolf. Not sure if I named this one. Nope. This was another one that I got. <laughs> on the 1st of April in 2017. It just goes to show you that I get a lot of plush around my birthday time because <laughs> uh, my birthday is in April. So I've got a few probably got, that are gonna pop up that are gonna be around April. So again, this one doesn't have an official name. So I will come up with one or if anyone's got any suggestions for this one, please suggest away in the comment section. Here's that one. This next one is also a very unique one to my collection. This is a bat-eared fox. This is the only um, bat-eared fox that I have in my collection. When I, I remember seeing it advertised on eBay and I was like, oh my goodness, how unique. I need to have one of them. So I'll just show you. So 10.5 inch bat-eared fox. Don't think it's got, no, no name. But look, just stunning that fur in the ears there and the airbrushing detailing of the different colours. I just love the colour of his body as well. So that's really nice. And he's got a lovely long tail. As you can see. And the beautiful little brown legs. Just very sweet. Is that one? Okay. This next arctic fox i somehow have two <laughs> i think perhaps um someone may have brought this for me as a gift and i had already had one on the way but i couldn't decide between the two so now they are friends or siblings they do sort of have slightly different faces about them and they sort of sit differently and this one's airbrushing is slightly darker than this one but in terms of the tag and the number and everything they are exactly the same plush but I can't choose between them I think I named one of them so this one I named Glacier this one does not have a name on the tag but I will give it a name I'm thinking maybe I'll get some little ribbons or bandanas or something to pop on them so that I can distinguish them from each other they're super cute I just, I love arctic foxes. They're really beautiful. There's those two. Okay, and going along with some more foxes. This is a beautiful orange fox. It's sort of got those whiskers, if you can see them on the camera there, and the lovely amber eyes. I like the, the position that this one is sitting in too. It's really lovely and smart. Regal about it. I don't think I named this one. Nope. Another birthday one. <laughs> Back from 2017. So there's that beautiful fox. I'll just pop him to the side. This is another fox which has darker colouring compared to that one I just showed you. This one is in that lying down position and I have cuddled this one a lot. I've taken off the tag. because um, oh, And this one also has been cuddled a lot. It doesn't have that cardboard tag attached. Doesn't have a name though, so we'll have to get one for this little cutie. Definitely love foxes. I love all animals, you all know that. Anyone who's been following along, I love them. They're so beautiful. Okay, so here's another fox who's very cute and has got those beautiful big eyes. As per the tag, seven inch big eyes. Just have a look. No name on this little cutie. He's got super duper fluffy cheeks. <laughs> it's really cute. I have a couple of other um, toys from this Big Eyes range in Uni Toys. I think a couple of dogs and I'll show them to you in another video. They're really cute. So there's that one. And this next 
next box, which has also had its tag removed, is this beautiful lying down one, which also reminds me of the Yumiko Classics box a little bit too. I'll just show you the body and the tail. And I don't think it's got a name, nope. So, name suggestions away, and I will think of some and update them on my Instagram as well. So there's that fox. Just two left. Okay, so here's a beautiful, happy-looking sloth. Very lovely, and again, got that beautiful detailing on the hands with the airbrushing and around. Like, it's just lovely. A lot of other plush companies they just sort of stick with a uniform solid color but I really like that graduation of color it's very realistic I really like that about the uni toys range so this is a 30 centimeter floppy sloth and I don't think this beautiful one has a name nope but we can have a look at him from behind so any sloth lovers out there, this one's really cute if you can get one. So that's a beautiful one. And last but not least, I think this is one of the last ones I've added to my Uni Toys collection um, since before the pandemic issue hit everyone. This is a beautiful coy coyote. <laughs> you can have a look, 30 centimeters. It's lovely, lovely colouring throughout the coat. Again, as you can see, it's got that lighter colour underneath and then when you swipe the fur back, it goes a little bit darker on the tips. So that's really nice. I haven't named this one. I did get this one again around my birthday uh, a couple of years ago now, I think. Because it's been a while since I've had any of these come in the post. As I said before, they're not shipping to Australia anymore. But anyway, if anybody knows of any new uni toys plush that are available, I'll have to pop them on my wish list for when, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, the world gets back to a safer place um, and we can go back to having some international shipping. Obviously, health and safety of everyone is the most important thing at the moment, but I definitely would love international shipping to open up a little bit more. <laughs> Wishful thinking over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you've got any name suggestions um, or comments that you'd like to leave below, please reach out. I love chatting with you guys and hearing from you guys. If anyone's got some uni toys plush that they have and they've done a video or some photos, again, please let me know. I love looking at them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. Bye.